Hello and welcome to Auto Select. I hope you have been following along this video tutorial series of creating vector portrait using Inkscape. Let's recap our progress. At first we have made outlines. Then we colored it with flat colors. After that we have colored the eyes then hair and now we are here to add highlights and shadows on the face. So without any further ado let's get started. I'm going to use the flat color layer to make shadows and highlights. You can make a separate layer for making the shadows and highlight over flat color layer. So now I have created a skin tone color palette which consists of 5 colors. If you see the vertical color palette, the top two are for highlights and the bottom two are for the shadows. And the remaining center one will be the best skin color. So yeah, now let's begin drawing some shapes over the face and fill them with these colors from the color palette. Using Bezier pen, let's make some random shapes over the face which will indicate uh, highlights and shadows. To summarize, I will be coloring the shadows with two levels, one will be less darker and one will be more darker. Same goes with highlights, one highlight level will be slightly less brighter than the other. While drawing the shadows, you can refer and observe the image and check which areas are more darker and which areas are less darker according to the direction of the light falling on the face. I would recommend you to choose brighter colors for skin tone palettes. I'm going to make curvy shapes according to the facial expression, removing the stroke color and coloring with any color for now. Colors from the color palette can be filled later. In case of highlights, the brighter areas to consider are usually chin, nose, cheeks and forehead.
I find it easier to make the shape first and then color it all together rather than drawing individual shape and color it one by one. Selecting the individual strokes and coloring them together seems easier. Now the base color looks a bit off because it's a mismatch color for the highlights and shadow. So now let's change the base color from the color palette and yep it looks perfect now. So yes I think the face highlight and shadows are done. I'm gonna alter the shade of base hair color a bit so yeah that looks better and it is done. You can modify the color as per your wish. So this completes vectorizing the face and in the next and final part of this video series we will give finishing touches to the artwork like lips and teeth. The shirt is remaining too and, and we will check if there's any misspot. So see you in the next video.